Si tú quisieras, yo daría mi vida Solo por un beso de ti Si tú quisieras, gritaría al mundo Te amo y que solo pienses When she dances, her sensual movements mesmerize the crowd her alluring body incites passion and desire. She is a goddess of temptation, a promise of forbidden pleasures. She is Salome. But behind the illusion of makeup and glitter, of rhinestones and cheap perfume, hides a sensitive lonely girl with a broken heart. A somewhat coarse young woman who grew up in the gutters of a violent neighborhood and makes a modest living as the main attraction in a second-rate nightclub. Directamente de Las Vegas, la bella, la sensual, la única, Salomé! He is Julio Montesinos, a serious young lawyer who lives in a rich, upper-class neighborhood with his parents, Arturo and Lucrecia, and his lovely wife, Angela, who is terminally ill. Doña Lucrecia is a regal aristocratic woman who rules her household with an iron fist. The only person who dares defy her is Manola, the housekeeper, who seems to have a strange hold on her. ¿Cómo me gustaría que te fueras algún día de esta casa? Tú sabes que no me iré nunca de esta casa. ¿Y sabes por qué? ¡Cállate! En esta casa hay algo que me pertenece y que tú me lo robaste. Lucrecia's main concern in life is Angela's inability to give Julio an heir who will carry on the Montesinos name. Y si esa mujer no puede darte un hijo, es mejor que te divorcies de ella. A series of circumstances leads Salomé to the Montesinos mansion, where she meets Julio. Her heart leaps at the sight of him, but her common sense tells her that he is beyond her reach. However, reason seldom follows the paths of destiny. Shortly after, Julio and his brother-in-law, Diego, go to the nightclub where Salome works. When he sees her dance, he feels himself drawn helplessly into her web of beauty and sensuality and cannot resist inviting her and her friend Caricia to their table. But their budding romance is cut short by a violent fight that breaks out. Salome is injured, and in his attempt to defend her, Julio is arrested and spends a night in jail along with the others. And a new drama begins to unfold. Julio and his mother offer Salome the hospitality of their home until she recovers. But Lucrecia's motives are far from generous. She has noticed the attraction between her son and the beautiful dancer, and thinks that Salome, although vulgar and beneath their status, is healthy and could very well be the one to bear the grandchild her pride demands. Salome and Julio know that their love is impossible, but the passion they feel for each other is too strong to resist. When Salome realizes that she has become pregnant, Lucrecia offers to buy her child and raise him in luxury. Salome accepts, but the moment she has her tiny son in her arms, her heart cries out that she will never, never give him up. Televisa presents the deeply moving story of a young woman who defies the power of money and is willing to face an uncertain future armed only with her courage and her love for her child. Salome, starring Edith Gonzalez, Guy Ecker, Maria Rubio, Aaron Hernan, and Jaime Garza. In desperation, Salome steals back her baby with the aid of Manola and her friend Hippolito, a humble plumber whose wife has abandoned him and his two sons. Knowing she can't hide from Lucrecia forever, Salome decides to leave Mexico City 
and to confuse her pursuers, convinces Hippolito to let her take his two babies with her. She flees to the northern city of Tijuana, where she settles down and raises the three boys as her own, never revealing which of them is her real son. But the shadow of Lucrecia will return to haunt her and threaten the happiness of her sons, and Julio will reawaken feelings she had buried in the depths of her soul, disturbing the peace she had found in her new life. Fate has determined that the story of Julio and Salome is far from over. Salome, merely a woman. Me